Hi there! In this video, we show how to install a pair of Editron E1 MF metering pumps for the Neogen two-part water treatment program. This video applies to both Neogen systems. It's best to work in a safe and clean area. Cover up any open chemical buckets to make sure you don't lose any parts. The Editron E1 MF box includes an E1 MF metering pump, mounting bracket, screw and wall anchor kit, operating manual, and tubing kit. The tubing kit includes injection valve, foot filter, six and a half feet of rigid polyethylene discharge tubing, and 13 feet of clear, flexible PVC tubing for suction and bleed off. Other items you will need, flat and Phillips head screwdriver and cutters that can cut through hard plastic, thread seal tape, Neogen mixing tee, and two six feet two conductor wires, which are sold separately. To begin, grab the Neogen mixing tee, take the thread seal tape, and wrap it around the threads of the injection valve, either 3 8 or half inch. Install the Neogen mixing tee into the water line. The Neogen mixing tee is composed of two pieces, the tee and injection valve. It is important to hold the Neogen mixing tee at the directed position when screwing the valve into the water line. Next, grab the mounting bracket and screw and wall anchor kit from the pump box. Secure the mounting bracket to the wall using the kit. Make sure that the arrow on the mounting bracket is pointed up. Slide the E1MF onto the mounting bracket. Do not plug the E1MF into the power supply until installation is complete. Open the tubing kit and take out the injection valve. Using cutters or a hacksaw, cut the injection valve just below the 3 8 inch threads. Remove the tube nut, collar, and nozzle. Set these items aside and be careful not to lose them. Make sure you do not lose the O-ring underneath the nozzle on top of the injection valve. Take the thread seal tape and wrap it around the half inch thread of the injection valve. Insert the injection valve into the left inlet of the Neogen mixing tee. Next, grab the rigid polyethylene discharge tubing from the tubing kit. Measure the distance from the discharge valve on the pump head to the injection valve on the Neogen mixing tee and cut the tube to length. Be careful not to cut it too short to avoid tension. If the tubing is too snug, the tubing connection will come loose and produce a leak. Slide one end of the discharge tubing through the outside opening of the tube nut. Slide the collar onto the tube and make sure the collar's crown is pointing away from the tube nut. Grab the nozzle and insert the pointed end into the opening of the tube. Push the collar and nozzle together as close as possible. Attach the tube and tubing connections onto the injection valve by hand tightening the tube nut. Do not cross thread or over tighten. If the tube nut is not securing, recheck the ferrule connection. Locate the discharge valve at the top of the pump head. Remove the tube nut, collar, and nozzle. Make sure not to lose the O-ring underneath the nozzle sitting on the discharge valve. Slide the tubing connections onto the open end of the discharge tubing in the correct orientation. Attach the tube and tubing connections onto the discharge valve by hand tightening the tube nut. Do not cross thread or over tighten. If the tube nut is not securing, recheck the ferrule connection. Remove the clear PVC suction tubing from the tubing kit and set aside. Locate the suction valve at the bottom of the pump head. Remove the tube nut, collar, and nozzle. Make sure not to lose the O-ring sitting below the suction valve. Slide the tubing connections onto the one end of the suction tubing in the correct orientation. Attach the tube and tubing connections onto the suction valve by hand tightening the tube nut. Do not cross thread or over tighten. If the tube nut is not securing, recheck the ferrule connection. Next, using the cutters, cut the PVC suction tubing so that the foot filter comfortably sits in the chemical bucket in a vertical position. Make sure to cut the tubing so that the foot filter has room to sit two inches off the bottom of the stock tank. Grab the foot filter from the tubing kit and remove its tube nut, collar, and nozzle. Be careful not to lose the O-ring sitting below the nozzle on the top of the foot filter. Slide the tubing connections onto the open end of the suction tubing in their correct orientation. Let the PVC suction tubing, along with the tube nut, collar, and nozzle, hang from the pump head. Grab the foot filter and shake it back and forth. You should hear the ceramic ball moving freely inside. Grab the PVC suction tubing and tubing connections hanging down from the pump head. Attach it to the foot filter by hand tightening the tube nut. Do not cross thread or over tighten. If the tube nut is not securing, recheck the ferrule connection. Place the foot filter into the chemical bucket or stock tank, ensuring that the pump will draw chemistry once you begin operation. 
Take the remainder of the clear, flexible PVC tubing and locate the air bleed barb on the upper left section of the pump head. Slide one end of the PVC tubing over the barb. Using the cutters, cut the tube so the tube is long enough for the chemical bleed off to go back into the bucket or stock tank while priming. Repeat these instructions to install your second pump. Now that your second pump is installed, it is time to connect your pumps to the water meter. Locate the terminal access cover on the E1MF. Use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the screws and remove the cover. Locate the left rubber grommet on the bottom of the cover and remove it. Set the terminal access cover aside. Use a punch tool or the narrow flat blade screwdriver to poke a hole through the bottom of the rubber grommet. Grab one of the two conductor wires and push one end of the wire up through the rubber grommet. Then run the wires back through the hole in the terminal access cover and reinsert the rubber grommet. Pull up enough wire to be able to make connections to the terminal board. Strip away a short piece of casing, exposing the copper conductor. Using the small flathead screwdriver, push in the spring lock of the third terminal and insert the first wire. Release the spring lock to secure the wire. Give the wire a slight tug to verify the secure connection. Repeat the step to insert the next wire into the fourth terminal. Use a flathead screwdriver to reattach the terminal access cover. Perform the same steps to connect the other two conductor wire to the second pump. Next, strip away a short piece of the casing, exposing the copper conductor on the other end of the wires. Connect the conductor from terminal three and pump one, terminal three and pump two, and one of the conductors from the water meter lead wire. Now connect the conductor from terminal four and pump one, terminal four and pump two, and the remaining conductor from the water meter lead wire. After both sets of wires are secured, the E1MF metering pumps should now be ready to connect to the power supply. We hope this video has been helpful with the installation of two E1MF metering pumps for the Neogen two-part water treatment program. Thanks for watching.